friends. Happy St. Patty's Day. So it is about to rain. What does that mean? That means that we're gonna put seeds in the ground. Of course, every gardener knows this. When you see rain on the forecast, that's when you wanna get stuff in the ground. I don't know about you guys, but there's nothing that germinates seeds better than rain. I think there's just something special about it. So I'm taking back my little instant greenhouses here. I'm gonna plant peas along the fence. Uh, we got the green arrow pea, and then I'm gonna plant some America spinach in the front. Both cold weather things, really like the gold. Um, and then these little greenhouses will protect them from any sort of extra cold weather. So here we go. Happy Saturday, friends. We are having family. <laughs> We're having a family work chore day. Ireland's upset because one of our chicks got kind of stepped on by one of the little siblings and it died. So that's now our second loss. It's still a happy Saturday, even though She's sad because it was the one that was spotted and it was cute and we were possibly thinking about keeping it for like a meat chicken breeding situation that we're maybe gonna experiment with. So that's kind of a disappointment. It's always a disappointment when one dies, but it's always um, a very good learning time for little people. The true weight and responsibility of having farm animals. So I'll show you guys what they're doing. So I was noticing that some folks were getting a little overcrowded and since we're still making the tractors, we uh, figured we'd bring them out here and let them get some fresh air. Fresh air and sunlight, which is two of the most important things to this production model, keeping them happy and healthy. And one of the little siblings accidentally just stepped on one, but it's easy to do when you see they're just kind of scattered about. So they're just getting in here. They've been eating grass. I've been crunching up some eggshells that were in the compost for them. They love that. They really like the grass and the sun though. This really gives them their first time on the ground. Their very first outside forage time. So it's kind of a simple little situation. We just threw up some, some little makeshift instant gates with some pallets and some wood rounds keep these babies in here and get them some real life outdoor time. This will also be really good for the grass too that's starting to come back. Lots of nice fertilization. So for the rest of the time that the chickens are here in the city with us, we're gonna be bringing them outside. I'm gonna build some other little tractors with some of the supplies and materials we have. And we'll probably bring them around the edges or something in little tractors. When they get out onto the big pasture, they're gonna be in big tractors. And I haven't talked about this yet, but they'll be in big tractors and then they will have a mobile electric netting all the way around them to protect them from predators. Um, but so here in the backyard, I think we're gonna build some small tractors that we can just take around. We've even been um, contemplating keeping a handful of them here to kind of showcase exactly like for learning purposes, what it would be like to grow, say like 25 birds in your backyard, moving them every day in small tractors. So I might just decide to give that a try. We'll see, we'll see. Hey, little baby. Oh.
They did not like that. I thought they knew I was here. Evidently not. I'm sorry. Jeez, are you guys okay? Sorry. Nobody got hurt in that stampede, did they? Come back out, I'm sorry. Jeez, they've never done that before. That was weird. Okay, so here we are. Day one, new camera. Same old messy hair. We actually had two deaths yesterday which was really sad. Um, I already talked about the first one, but the second one was really um, mysterious. Happened right after we moved them back inside from being outside yesterday. I'm kind of feeling like at this point, the stress of moving them in and out maybe isn't so good, so I don't think I'm gonna move them out today. Because um, they were just like laying on top of them. It was a completely healthy, bigger chick, and I must have just missed it by a few minutes, and unfortunately he didn't make it. So now we're down to 127, which is still more than we started out, more than we um, uh, ordered initially. Uh, Marie McMurray sent us 130. We ordered 125, and we got 130. And we have now lost three. We lost one random one in the beginning, and then the two yesterday. So hopefully that's our last little bit of loss. You come in here, kitty? Come on, Binks. Good kitty. Yeah, go up there and eat your food. I'm gonna look at our farm kitties. Binks, what are you doing? He's out of here. He's like, I don't want to, to do whatever you're telling me to do. Where are you going? Go back to bed.